This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Whiz Quiz Fall Edition. We have four teams that will be playing tonight. They are eyeing that semifinal game. So we have Marion Local facing off against Bodkins in the first game, and a little bit later, you're going to see Bell Fountain take on Coldwater. Familiar faces joining us. We're going to introduce you now to the players from Bodkins. We have Josh Madden, Isabella Yuri, Emma Yuri, and Joseph Shipper. Bodkins is coached by Ryan Loy. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Marion Local. Playing for Marion Local is Matt Moeller, Austin Kramer, Matt Burning, and Isaac Buddy. And Marion Local is coached by Paula Hemmelgarn. All right, you guys, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, get those buzzers those ready buzzers to go. Are. We have 10 questions in this first round, and they are worth 10 points apiece. And I've got to make sure that I am on the right page. What page are we on, Coach? 31. All right, very good. And we are going to start with question one. We're 10 points. Here we go. What early statesman wanted the turkey to be the U.S. national yes that would be... Marion Local. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin is correct. All right, moving on. Number two, what is the fear of water called? Yes, Marion Local. Hydrophobia. I'm sorry? Hydrophobia. Hydrophobia is incorrect. Bodkins, you want to try it? No, I don't know. I don't know. Something A. Yes. Aquaphobia. Aquaphobia is the answer. <laughs> All right, question number three. What NFL team has the most Super Bowl rings? Yes, Botkins. Cowboys. Cowboys is incorrect. Marion Local, you've got a chance here. Yes. Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the answer. Pittsburgh Steelers. Go Browns. All right, question number four. Diamonds are sold by what unit of weight? Marion Local. Uh, the carrot. Carrot is correct. In 1877, what major industry was the first industry to strike in the United States? Yes, Botkins. Steel. That is incorrect. Marion Local, you want to try? Yes. Oil. Oil is also incorrect. The railroad industry is what we're looking for. Okay, moving on. Question number six in this first round. What does melanin control in the human body? Yes, Marion Local. Skin tone. That is correct, skin tone. All right, moving on. Number seven. In what state is the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Park? Yes, Botkins. Arkansas. Arkansas is incorrect. Marion Local, here's your chance. Yes. Uh, Texas. Texas, also incorrect. Montana is the answer. All right, three questions remaining in round one. Name the fighting force that George Washington commanded. Yes, Botkins. The Continental Army. The Continental Army is correct. Which former U.S. president was elected to the House of Representatives? I have no idea. Yes, Botkins. Taft. Taft is incorrect. Marion Local, you want to try? Yes. Calvin Coolidge. Also incorrect. John Quincy Adams is the answer. All right, we've come to one more question in round one. Give circus man P.T. Barnum's first name. Yes, Botkins. Phineas. Phineas is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one between Marion Local and Botkins High Schools. Here is our score. Botkins, 30 points. Marion Local, 40. We'll be back with rounds two and three after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
All right, welcome back everyone. We are entering rounds two and three in this game between Marion Local and Botkins High School. Here's the score, Botkins with 30 points, Marion Local with 40. That means Marion Local, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions, five points apiece, and they are all yours, but please ring in with your answers. Everybody set? What mineral has been used in clocks and watches for a precise rate? Yes. Quartz. Quartz is correct. Identify the part of a Thanksgiving turkey that signifies good luck. Yes. The wishbone. The wishbone is the answer. Nice. Question number three in round two. What type of eyes do flies have? Yes. Uh, compound eyes. That is the answer, compound <laughs> eyes. Goodbye. All right, question number four. What common seasoning beginning with the letter O is used in Italian cooking? Yes. Oregano. Oregano is correct. And your final question in the second round. When thrown correctly, what item returns to the thrower? Yes. A boomerang. Boomerang <laughs> is correct. All right, you've come to the end of your questions. Turning it over to Botkins now for your five. Everybody set over here? Okay. What baseball organization is for players ages 9 through 12? League. Yes. Little League. Little League is correct. Identify the alliterative nickname for Hollywood. LA. All right, the answer is Tinseltown. What is the cross-shaped design used as the Nazi symbol? Yes. A swastika? A swastika is correct. All right, you have two questions remaining in this round. Name the arachnid with strong claws and a poisonous stinger. Yes. A scorpion. Scorpion is the answer. And you have one question remaining here in the second round. What is the world's smelliest flower? Mm. All right, it's actually known as the corpse flower. All right, we've come to the end of round two. Here is our score. Botkins, 45 points. Marion Local, you have 65. Again, our final round is 10 questions, 10 points apiece. What is the common name for mercury? Yes, that would be Marion Local. Uh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver is correct. Name the electronic device that is implanted in the chest to control. Yes, Marion Local. Uh, cardiac pacemaker. Yes, that is correct. What is the point in the sky that is opposite the zenith? Yes, that would be Marion Local. The North Star. That is incorrect. Botkin, do you want to try it? Yes. The moon. The moon is incorrect. It's the nadir. All right. Who was the king of gods in Norse mythology? Yes, Botkins. Odin. Odin is the correct answer. All right, number five in this last 10 question round. Give the common abbreviation for a medical prescription. Yes, Marion Local. Uh, Rx. Rx is correct. What is paired with crossbones on a pirate flag? Yes, Botkins. A skull. Skull is correct. Question number seven, name the Air Force Base located near Dayton, Ohio. Marion Local. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. That is correct, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. All right, three questions remaining in this final round. What is the world's largest sports organization for children and adults with intellectual disabilities? Yes, Marion Local. Special Olympics. Special Olympics is the answer. What hippo born at the Cincinnati Zoo? Yes, that would be Botkins. Fiona. Fiona is correct. And you have one more question here. Name the branch of the U.S. Treasury that guards high executive officers. 
Marion Local. The Secret Service. The Secret Service is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game. And here is our final score. Botkins, 75 points. Marion Local, you are the winners with 125. Congratulations, you'll be moving on to our semifinals. Botkins, thank you for playing with us this year. We want to thank you. We'll be back with between Bell Fountain and Coldwater right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We just wrapped up a game between Marion Local and Botkins. Marion Local came out the winner there. They will be moving on in semifinal action and they will take on the winner of this game now that we're going to begin between Coldwater and Bell Fountain. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Bell Fountain, we have Ben Sailors, Miriam Myrick, Lily Evans, and Lily Moody. And Bell Fountain is coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Coldwater High School. We have players Natalie Langenkamp, Gina Langenkamp, Emma Eckstein, and Thomas Pax. Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome back to all of you as well. All right, everybody's set for this round. Again, 10 questions. You all know the drill. 10 points apiece, get the buzzers ready. Please speak as loudly as you can with your answers and make them as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one in round one. Name the mineral deposits that are found hanging like icicles in caves. Yes, Bell Fountain. Stalactite? Stalactite is correct. Identify the small blood-sucking African fly. Yes, cold water. Mosquito. Mosquito is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try it? Yeah. Vampire fly. Vampire fly, also incorrect. It's a tsetse fly. I hope I said that right. Hard to say. All right, moving on to question number three. What is the constellation that outlines a hunter with a belt? Yes, that would be cold water. Orion. Orion is correct. A small game bird like the Bob White is also called what Q word? Yes, Bell Fountain. Quail. Quail is the answer. Name the Greek temple of Doric architecture found in Athens. Yes, that would be cold water. The Parthenon. Parthenon is correct. Question number six. The Rough Riders were identified with what U.S. war? Yes, Bell Fountain. Spanish American War. That is correct. All right, question seven. What bird of the cuckoo family runs rapidly along the ground? Yes, Bell Fountain. Roadrunner? Roadrunner is the answer. Name the semi-precious iridescent stone that begins with the letter O. Yes, cold water. Opal. Opal is the answer. You have two questions remaining in round one. Name the extremely slow-moving furry mammal that lives in the tropical forest. Sloth. Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Sloth. Sloth is correct. And your final question in round one. What is the largest whale? Yes, cold water. Blue whale. Blue whale is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score, Bell Fountain with 50 points, cold water with 40. Bell Fountain, you're going to lead this round. You have five questions worth five points apiece. They're all yours. Please buzz in with your answer. In chemistry, what does the symbol MG stand for? Yes. Magnesium. Magnesium is correct. Give the T word for a civil wrong for which the law allows redress. Okay, 
time is up. The answer is tort. All right, hmm. name the businessman who started a scholarship program sending students to Oxford. Rhodes. Rhodes? Could you be? James Rhodes? Oh. That is incorrect. Actually, we will accept Rhodes. We will accept Rhodes. Very good. Cool. All right, moving on. Number four. What is the process in which a tadpole becomes a frog? Aging? Metamorphosis. Yes. Aging, metamorphosis, metamorphosis. We will accept that as well. All right, <laughs> moving on. Last question in this round. <laughs> Give the nickname of those that supported the British during the American Revolution. Loyalists. Loyalists. Yes. Loyalists. Loyalists is correct. All right. Moving over now to cold water for your five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody ready here? What author wrote Ivanhoe? Time is up, the answer is Sir Walter Scott. Okay, name the town in France where pilgrims seek miraculous cures for illness. Yes. Lords. Lords is correct. What is the board game popular since the 1930s that deals with buying and selling? Yes. Monopoly. Monopoly is correct. Two questions remaining in this round. Shrubs clipped into ornamental shapes are called what? Hedges. Yes. Hedges? Hedges is incorrect. The answer is topiary. Oh. All right, final question in this round. What is the standard drug for treating malaria? Okay, time is up. The answer is quinine. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. In this match between Coldwater and Belfountain, here is our score. Belfountain with 70 points, Coldwater with 50. We'll come back with our final round of 10 questions after the break. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, moving into round three now between Coldwater and Belfountain. Here is our score. Coldwater with 50 points, Belfountain with 70. And this is a final round of 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Everybody set? All right, please speak up and make your answers as complete as possible in this round, okay? You guys are close. All right, number one. In the military, when one is assigned R&R, what does that mean? Yes, cold water? Rest and rehabilitation. That is incorrect. Belfountain, you want to try it? Yes. Rest and relaxation. That is the answer. Rest and relaxation. All right, question two. Name the Greek goddess of retribution and vengeance. Yes, Belfountain. Nemesis. Nemesis is correct. Number three, what were members of the ancient Indian culture in Peru called? Yes, cold water. The Incans. That is correct. All right, moving on to number four. Give the name of the computer language, also known as formula translation. Cold water. Binary. That is incorrect. Belfountain, you want to try? Yes. Python. That is also incorrect. Fortran is the answer. Um. All right, number five. What is the center of a hurricane called? Yes, cold water. The eye. The eye is correct. Name the author that wrote Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Yes, Belfountain. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is correct. All right, you have four questions remaining in your 
final round. Name the site of the gold rush in the Yukon, yes, cold water. Um, Sutter's Mill. That is incorrect. Bow Fountain, do you want me to complete the question yes, for you? Name the site of the gold rush in the Yukon Territory, Canada. Okay, time is up. The answer is the Klondike. Oh. All right. Number eight. Who was Superman's girlfriend? Yes, Belle Fountain. Lois Lane. Lois Lane is the answer. In the Bible, what man of Bethany was raised from his tomb by Jesus? Yes, cold water. Lazarus. Lazarus is it. And your final question in your game. Name Virginia's harbor city that is one of the largest shipbuilding sites in the world. All right, time is up, team. The answer, Newport News, Virginia. Okay, we've come to the end of our game between Coldwater and Bell Fountain High Schools. Here is your final score. Bell Fountain, 110 points, and Coldwater, you have 80. So, Bell Fountain, congratulations. You'll be moving on to the semifinals. Coldwater, thank you so much for joining us this year, and we want to thank you for watching and playing along at home. We'll see you back here next week. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>